Okay, I've painted the Stratus Gale and it's a little bit rough. Um, so what I found is if you're using fiberglass or <laughs> fluorescent paint, um, if you take a scotch Bright pad, one of these green things uh, that you have in your kitchen, um, if you lightly sand it, uh, you'll actually notice that it gives it a little shine. Not only does it take off all the little bumps, but uh, you'll notice a difference in the, in the surface smoothness and actually you'll have a little bit of a shine to it, which is kind of cool. Um, so you're going to do this to the whole glider. Uh, make sure that it slides freely along the boom. That's kind of the most important part. Okay. All right. Um, so now I want to show you how to prep this for flight. Um, as, be, as I said before in the video on the tools, um, I recommend using thread for this. Um, any thread will work pretty much. Um, I prefer cotton, um, but since this is so thin and you might not be able to see it on the video, I've got some, some thicker string that'll show you how to prep this. Um, before you do this, um, as before, put a motor in it and um, give it a final hand toss to make sure that it's still gliding properly. Um, remember, I took off my nose or my wing weight and I'm gonna put that back on flatten it down right where it was before when I did my hand tossing. So you're going to go, go one more time and do some trimming. Um, get the rubber band, which fell on the floor, and that goes, goes here into the little mouth on the nose cone, so from the slide box to the nose. Um, and then put the motor in and tape it in, as I showed you before. But to prep it, you want to take the rubber band off um, then here on the bottom of the wing, on the slide box, you have that little hole. And I want to tie the thread through that little hole. Now, of course, since I've got a big piece of thread. I prefer to use a slip knot, but you can use any knot that you feel comfortable with. Whatever is comfortable, that's the kind of knot you should use. You don't want it coming undone. Okay, so I tied it there, and I'm going to snip that off. Now, the same side that this little post sticks out of, there's a hole here, and I want to take the, the other end of the thread and go back through that hole. Uh, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to snip that little frayed end off. Okay, I'm just going to cut that off. In fact, I'm going to put a little drop of glue on it just to... Just to keep it from coming apart. Come on, glue! All right, so now I got a nice little sharp point on my string. And that's going to go through that hole. Okay. And I'm going to slide the wing back as far as it will go. Like that. Then I'm going to take the thread and run it down the side of the boom. And then there's another hole here at the front. I'm going to go through that hole. And grab it like that. Pull tight. Make sure that the wing stays back. Then I'm going to go over the Kevlar piece and out through the other side. Just like that. Now I'm on top on both pieces of Kevlar. And then I'm going to tie a knot here so that this doesn't move. And 
And of course, I got some slack in there, and I want I don't want any slack. So I need to undo this knot. Pull out all that slack. Put that as tight as I can. Okay. And I always take a little drop of glue and put it on that knot so that that knot can't come undone. And then I can trim off any excess string. I started with a piece of string about three feet long and I've got a foot left. So anything over two feet long should work fine. And then on the back, again, I'm going to cut that piece off here. This is just adding extra drag. So I'm just keep removing my drag. Um, now I want to put the motor in. And the motor stops against that coupler on the inside. Take a piece of tape. I'll take this piece of tape. And I'm going to go from the bottom side, before, as I said before, and then wrap around this way. And push it down tight. And I'm just folding over the excess tape. Doesn't matter. Just don't want to, I don't want the motor coming out. Now I'm going to use a fresh motor. This is a burned motor. But a fresh motor because we're getting ready for launch. Then finally, I'm going to take my rubber band Put it on the hooks in the back. And this is going to be really tight. That's okay. We want it nice and tight. And then put it into the, into the little mouthpiece right here on the front. Now, your wing, before I had this all the way back to that little stop, but there's always a little bit of stretch in the string. And the wing always comes forward a little bit. That's okay. It will still boost perfectly fine. Um, so at this point, we're almost ready to launch. Uh, one thing you might want to do is take your marker and put your name on your glider so that um, somebody knows, somebody that finds it will be able to return it to you. And here's the, th the thing you should do. Write the word reward on the glider. And then your phone number. So that way, if they find it, they're more likely to give you a call. That doesn't say how much the reward is, and you can, you can determine that yourself on how, how badly you want this glider back, because it's going to fly really good. So this is the end of the construction and the prep. The last thing to do is to go out and fly it. Uh, there's a couple of little steps that you'll, you'll see on the launch pad, but other than that, it's ready to go.